Today's daily dose of math is an example where we're going to graph the pizza function, the inverse function. This function has y equals k over x as its form, where k is a number. Let's talk about a pizza situation. We're going to order nine extra large pizzas and they are cut into eight slices each. So there are going to be 72 slices. If X is the number of people and Y is the number of slices per person, then we can make Y equals K over X have a K of 72. Therefore, we have the function Y equals 72 over X. And we can use this equation to figure out how many slices each person gets depending on how many people are sharing the pizza. Let's say there are only two people. Well, then the 72 slices are divided by the two people and we get 36 slices per person. That is a big meal. But we can use this equation the same way and plug in different numbers of people to build a table of values so that we can put dots on our graph and graph our pizza function. Our table of values is going to look like this. I'm going fast, but I have plugged x equals 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 12, 18, 24, and 36 into my pizza function. And I am dividing 72 by each of those numbers in order to get the y coordinates that go with the x coordinates. And now I can start graphing. If there are two people, they get 36 slices each. That means I'm able to put a dot on my coordinate plane right here. Notice that I have scaled my axes so that the squares are going up by twos in order to make sure big numbers like 36 will fit. Therefore, three people getting 24 slices each goes here, and the rest of our points go on one by one. Four people get 18 slices each. Six people get 12 slices each. Eight people get nine slices each. None of this is very likely. How many people do you know who can eat nine slices of pizza? But nine people would get eight slices each, and now it's getting more reasonable. Twelve people would get six slices each. It's still a big feed. Eighteen people would get four slices each. Twenty-four people would get three slices each. And thirty-six people would get a measly little tiny share of two slices each. That's not enough. Notice how the numbers keep on getting closer together as we go to the middle of our table. Eight gives nine, nine gives eight. Is there a number that we could plug in as X that would give the same number as Y? Well, there's a way of finding that. We can square root 72 and we get 8.485 or a long number that rounds to 8.485. So that means there's a point where X and Y are both equal to 8.485. Here's my coordinates written down on the graph showing that point. We could do this with any pizza function really. The pizza function is pretty easy to graph with the table of values, but doing this little exercise gives us some hints as to how we can predict the shape of a pizza function that might have a different value than 72 as its k. And a trick we could use for finding an important point where we square root the k. Graphing the pizza function is a useful exercise in understanding how the pizza function works. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.